What's a lot? A, enough light on me. Do I have a love flag? Do I have a love flag? Oh man! Hola, you amazing artist! Creativity. Creativity. One minute you're like, yeah, I'm on fire, and the next minute you're like, I suck, I suck so bad, I have no creativity, I never had an original idea in my life! Bobby's tips for artists because he loves you. So what do you do in a situation where you are running into artist block and you just don't feel creative? You feel like instead of being a creative genius, you're a creativity loser. You hire Arnold Schwarzenegger as your personal life coach. <laughs> you, I'm going to pump you up in your creative zone. We're gonna get those creative muscles small. <laughs> One of the questions that I get, because it seems like I'm constantly working on different things and running back and forth and like, oh, I'm creating things. By the way, that's not how it goes. I spend a lot of time sitting on a couch, not really sure what I'm going to work on. That's called research. <laughs> so what actually happens is I end up getting overwhelmed by all the different projects that I want to work on. What's interesting about that is because I have so many ideas, I end up going into a complete artist block, find myself not knowing what I'm going to work on or how it's going to work because I'm overwhelmed because I have too many ideas. It's kind of ridiculous when you start to go into why it is that you might get blocked about something. Yeah, I guess you really could find any reason to be blocked. And you basically can use any excuse you want to get blocked. And a lot of times what people try to do is they'll sit there and think about it. And the worst thing you could do when you are blocked creatively is sit there and think about it. Okay, Rafi, that's cool and all, but when you are having a creative block, what do you do? How do you get out of it and get yourself creating? I guess that's a good question that I asked. I just said axed. <laughs> Let me ask you this. <laughs> so there are maybe about four things that I do whenever I run into a creative roadblock in my own head. There's the base next door! Yeah! Our neighbors are like, it's Friday, we just got paid, it's Cinco de Mayo, we're gonna yeah. turn up the base. Yeah, but our neighbors are like that every day of the week. Yeah. Every day. It's Tuesday! <laughs> Rafi's filming! So what do you do when your neighbors are loud and you're creatively blocked? <sighs> so when I find myself creatively blocked, there are four things that I may do. Either doing one of these or all four, it all depends on what the situation is. Sometimes I need to do all four, sometimes I just do one, but they usually help me get out of my my own creative blocks and maybe they'll help you. Number one, go for a walk. Especially if I'm frustrated because I can't get started on this piece, the best thing for me to do at that moment in time is to go for a walk. Get outside, do something that is completely opposite of sitting in a studio and staring at a blank piece of canvas. When you're in the shower, you have great ideas? Mm -hmm. Do you write them down? I try to remember them. I repeat them over and over until I get out of the shower. <laughs> and then I run to the office and write them down. I try to dry off first so I don't slide on the tile. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, work on something that doesn't matter. Basically, get started on something that I don't really need to think much about to do. Pieces that I could work on with my eyes closed. And I think that the idea of getting in there, doing something creative that you feel confident in, to bring that confidence into that area where you're blocked. Number three, don't give in to micro hesitation. So this one is a big one for me because it is actually what leads to a lot of procrastination, a lot of feeling blocked when you're trying to create something. Very brief microsecond of hesitation between the moment that you decide to do something and then you doubt yourself. If you give in to that micro hesitation, if you allow yourself to stay there for longer than a few seconds, you end up blocking yourself from doing the thing that you want to do. The moment that you have an idea 
on something, just get up and do it. The worst thing that will happen is that you don't like the idea and you're gonna change it, but just get up and start working on it and you never know where that will lead, but at least that will open the floodgates of creativity. Number four, play Ring Around a Rosie. So, sorry, what? It's, you'll, you'll just wait, you'll find out. So pretty much what this one is, is a variation off of that first one of do something different, except this one is taking that to an extreme. Not too many adults play Ring Around the Rosie or Tag or any type of game like that. Take yourself out of that mode that you're used to being in and handling things and throwing a total pattern interrupt into your way of life. Especially if you're somebody who's prone to getting creatively blocked. Do something that is extreme in a fun and creative way. Just for the record, isn't that song based on like the Black Plague or something crazy? It is. They're all horrible children's songs. What the heck was wrong with people back in the day? Down, Down will come, come baby, baby cradle, cradle and all. Ah! How is it that people remember those times as the best times? Like that's that's when people were being burnt at the stake for like showering every day. I'm not saying everything's perfect. But, but we're not, we're not, like, as soon as my neighbors are playing bass, THEY'RE WITCHES! THEY'RE WITCHES! THEY'VE PROSTITUTED MY FIELDS! They what? <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. Those are the four things that I do. I'm sure that there's more, but I can't remember them. These are the four that really stand out to me, that really work for me, and I wanted to share those with you. So hopefully you found this helpful, and if you did, please give us a thumbs up. And you creatives out there, if you have anything that you're struggling with creatively, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear them. And thank you so much, you guys. You guys are absolutely freaking amazing. I totally adore you. And if you like this video and you'd like to see more like this, just go ahead and click right over here to subscribe. And if you want to watch our last video, you click right over here. And that's it. Say goodbye, Clee. Good day. Adios. <laughs>